Okay, so the 4th of July update just happened, and I've seen a few videos talking about it, including from the community. As we all know, in the 4th of July update, we only got one commander skin, the Patriotic Commander. This skin can be obtained with a deluxe crate, which costs 200 Robux. However, you can also get the deluxe crate for free through rewards. Here are the methods for obtaining the deluxe crate. You can pause the video to see all of them. As you can tell, the methods of getting this crate aren't easy, especially the weekly quest, because you only have a chance of getting the quest. If you don't get the damage dealer quest, it takes a week to get another try. So it's basically random, but you do have a chance. Because of this, it's quite difficult to obtain the crate for free. Now let's talk about the update. Actually, I don't know if we can even call this an update. The skin looks very top tier, to be honest. It features new animations, voice lines, and a custom APC. There's more to it, but the sad part is that this skin is only available in this crate and for a limited time. I mean, it would be better if the skin were permanently available in the crate. Personally, I don't mind if the skin is in this crate because it's definitely worth it, but making it limited time is disappointing for new players who wanted this skin but couldn't obtain it in time. If the skin were permanent, you could just grind until you're able to obtain it, right? The good news is that they actually conducted a poll asking if they should keep the Patriotic Commander as a permanent skin in the crate. The majority of votes agreed to keep the skin permanent, so there's still hope. Now, let's talk about the overall update. Based on the list they gave before their break, they mentioned 4th of July skins. Honestly, I thought we were getting more skins for this update, not just one. Even the firework emote isn't in the shop. I mean, they never promised to add the emote back for the 4th of July, but the reason is they're still on break. They have limited production capacity right now and will be back on July 8th. It's understandable that most developers are taking a break. They're humans like us. At least we still got a new skin for July 4th, and there's a good chance the Patriotic Commander will become permanent. Hopefully, once the developers are back, we'll get more big updates. What are your thoughts on this? Should they keep the skin limited or make it permanent? Let us know in the comments and make sure to subscribe. As always, thank you for watching.